What's up, homie? If you're looking to install a OBS Studio countdown timer so that your viewers can wait before the live stream show starts, I've got a perfect script for you. It has a lot of little side benefits. I'm going to review them all, and one of the good ones is that it will automatically redirect you to a scene of your choice after the countdown goes to zero. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. I want to thank you for stopping in. It means everything to me. I work really hard at this channel. I just love making video and producing educational information centered around live streaming technology, primarily OBS tools, scripts, and plugins that help you make your live streams more fun and cool for your own channel. So if you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell. I try to get a video out every Tuesday morning. Sometimes I can pull it off and as of late, I've been doing a pretty good job. I'm cranking out a lot of content as of late. So subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when new stuff comes out. Now in this video, what we're gonna do is go over how to install a Lua script. Okay, it's not a tool, it's not a plugin. It's just a single file that is uh, set up to allow you to have a countdown. And the primary purpose for countdowns is to allow your people who love you the most to come in and sort of hang out so that your uh, total viewer count number goes up. It's kind of like a psychological boost when you start your show and you see that there's a couple people in waiting for you to start the show. It feels good, it energizes you, and it makes the show better because you feel that people want to actually hang out and talk with you and view your content. It just feels so good. So let me show you what it looks like. If I click the scene that contains the countdown, it has text, it's counting down from five seconds, and then it switches over automatically to another scene with an animation in it. So I'm gonna show you how to do the transition, how to apply the Lewis script, all the settings, everything. Let's get into installation, and then we'll move on to the settings. Here we go. Okay, let's go to Google and download this software. If I go into the search, I'll hit countdown adaptive time with auto recording. It can be one or two words, doesn't matter there in regards to the word countdown. Hit Google search. And the first link that pops up is the one you wanna click and it goes to this page. Now, let's take a global perspective of what this means in regards to quality of the software because you can sort of read between the lines and get a good idea as to whether or not something should be used based on how popular it is, for example. For example, the downloads on the right-hand side here. If it's over a 1,000, then it means it's probably pretty good. It's got a lot of views. If you click the history button here, you'll see that Tormi has updated the software several times so that it's still in compatibility with the OBS program. He's done his homework. Just because you develop a piece of software for OBS doesn't mean that your job is done. You gotta continually keep it up to date so it still works perfectly with each version that comes out. So he's done his work here. It gets downloaded a lot and he's got a good history. That means, in my opinion, Tormi has put in the work and he's passionate about the software and he cares. So this is a good piece of software. So let's download the Lewis script by clicking the go to download. We will save the zip file to your computer. I've created a Tormi folder inside my downloads folder. I'll hit save. I will go back into my Tormi folder here and right click on the zip file. I have seven zip, I highly recommend it, it's free. And I will click extract here. And the extraction creates a folder that's named the same as the zip file. I just double click that folder and now I have the contents of that zip file. Now the question is, where do I put this Lua script in the OBS program folder, right? Like where does it go? Nobody really tells you. Well, it's really easy to find that out. If you go into OBS, right? You go to tools, scripts, you hit the plus sign. It opens up a, a file explorer window and it shows you the path where it should go. Program files, OBS dash studio, data, OBS dash plugins, front dash tools scripts that's where it needs to go so I can cancel out that close that out go back into my folder copy the lower script commands or control C go into my C drive go into program files OBS studio data OBS dash plugins front end tools scripts and paste and now it's in the right place. That way, when I go into OBS Studio, and by the way, you don't have to restart OBS for this to work. Go to Tools, Scripts, hit the plus sign, and you will see 
Tormi's Lua script right there. Click it, hit open, and you are presented with all the parameters. Okay, let's go over those parameters right now. Okay, the first parameter is the timer source. And basically, what you have to do is create a text source in your scene and then name it and then you designate it here in this pull down so that that text source gets replaced with the countdown timer. We'll dig into that in just one sec. The format basically is what will be shown. Seconds, minutes or seconds, hours, minutes and seconds, days, hours, minutes and seconds. I think in most cases, you're not gonna wanna select hour or day because you don't wanna keep people waiting unless maybe, you know, something like Bob Lazar knocks on your front door and tells you that a UFO is gonna be landing on your property. And then maybe the epicness of the live stream would warrant keeping people waiting that long. Otherwise, I would stick with minutes and seconds. I wouldn't go longer than 15 minutes, honestly, because people are impatient. Just, you know, just have them gather up in 10, 15 minutes and that's good. The start text is what is shown to the left of the countdown timer, right? So you can put live in, you can change it up, put anything in there. You can take it out and make it blank and just have the countdown timer show up. The live now field here that you see basically is what is shown when the timer gets to zero. But if you designate the next scene here, this pull down, you can leave this blank because what it's going to do is it's going to automatically switch over to the scene of your choice. And that's what I showed you in this demonstration and that's what we'll set up here in just a minute so you can understand that process. The start recording yes or no is a great little feature because basically it edits out the countdown timer so that you don't have to do it later if you plan on posting the live stream as a normal video on YouTube. And that's what you should do in most cases is like take a good watch of your live stream and break it into segments, just like what Joe Rogan does, and title these segments and make more videos from your live stream so that you can bring in more traffic for your channel. Editing live streams after making them is absolutely crucial for channel success. So this is a little time saver because it removes that countdown for you and you don't have to do it in post-production. So that's a nice little thing. Thank you very much, Tormi, for making that parameter. The days, hours, minutes, and seconds are self-explanatory. All you have to do is put a number in there and that's what will show up as the countdown timer. Uh, in my demo here, I put five seconds in and I think what I'll do here is I'll just make it seconds. And I'm doing this because I don't want to keep you waiting. And so the next part of this video will show you how to set this up on your live stream. Here we go. Okay, cool, there's the countdown text. And now we're going to go back into Tools, Script, and I'm going to designate that source as the timer source. And as you can see, it's not there. Don't panic, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is shut down OBS and bring it back up and it will be there. Okay, so we open up OBS for our second time, go to Tools, Scripts, open it back up again. And can we select the text source? Is it there? It is there. Excellent. Format is seconds. We're going to change the start text to be uppercase because I like uppercase. Live in and I add a space after the N. The final text or leave blank. I'm going to leave that blank because we're going to redirect to another scene. Start recording yes or no. Absolutely set that to yes. And the next scene is going to be countdown redirect. That's what I've got it set up to do. We're at five seconds like we set before. We'll hit close and go into the countdown and we'll see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one, redirect. Perfect. The only thing we have to do is go back in here and just recenter it just like that. Works beautifully and we are recording. Remember that move transition plugin that I was talking about? Well, there is a whole bunch of stuff that it can do for you. So if you'd like to learn more about it, click this link right here and I will get you started with a plugin. It is super fun and it, your visitors will love your live streams when you get to understand how it works. Anyway, best wishes, stay strong and keep fighting. I'll catch you on the flip side.